Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute elephant. The elephant in this picture was made using Hobby's Baby Snuggle Yarn. In this tutorial I will be making this elephant, which is made with James C. Brett Flutterby yarn. However, the exact same pattern and hook size were used. Firstly, you will need plush, super chunky yarn in two colours. One of these colours should preferably be a white or a cream or a very light beige for the inside of the ears and the bottom of the legs. You will also need 9mm safety eyes, a USG or 4.25mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors and polyester fill. The stitches you need to know are single crochet, a chain stitch, a magic ring, an increase and invisible decrease and you also need to know how to do a colour change. We are going to start at the top of the head and work our way down. For round one, we are going to do six single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight and then I like to use a stitch marker at the end of each round. In round two we are going to do six increases. An increase is two single crochet within the same stitch. This will bring us up to 12 stitches in round two. Round three is a single crochet, then an increase, and we do that six times to get 18 stitches. Round four is two single crochet, then increase, and we do that six times to get 24 stitches. Round five is three single crochet, then an increase, and we do that six times to get 30 stitches. Rounds six and seven are just 30 single crochet around. So that's two rounds of 30 single crochet. And I'll be doing this off camera. Round eight is four increases. Then 11 single crochet. Then another four increases. And then another 11 single crochet, which brings you to 38 stitches in round 8. Mm -hmm. 
Round 9 is just 38 single crochet around. In round 10, we first single crochet 10. Then we are going to skip 7 stitches. So these 7 here we are not going to work into. We are going to chain 3. And then the next single crochet is going to go into that 8th stitch. And that is now the first of the next 21 single crochet to finish off the round. The increases and skipped stitches we just did will have formed the cheeks and the trunk space for the elephant. Now we are going to start decreasing. I like to do the invisible decrease, like so. So round 11 starts with 4 decreases in a row. Then we are going to do 7 single crochet and we will crochet over those 3 chain stitches like so. Then we will do another 4 decreases. And then we will finish off the round with 11 single crochet, which brings you to 26 stitches in the round. In round 12, it's 2 decreases, then 2 single crochet, and we repeat that 4 times. After we've repeated that 4 times, we will do a last 2 single crochet. And there are the last two single crochet for the round, which brings you to 18 in total. Now we will attach the safety eyes. If you like, you can put a stitch marker into that working loop just to keep it from getting lost. The safety eyes will be attached between round 8 and round 9, just on either side of the trunk. So this will be 7 or 8 stitches apart. Just make sure the eyes are symmetrical with the trunk space. I'm going to attach the backs off camera. In round 13, we are going to do a single crochet, then a decrease, and we repeat that 6 times to get 12 stitches. Mm -hmm. 
Round 14 is just 12 single crochet around. Now we are going to stuff the head. In round 15, it's a single crochet, then an increase, and we do that six times to get 18 stitches. Round 16 is just 18 single crochet. Round 17 is two single crochet, then an increase, and we do that six times to get 24 stitches. Round 18 is just 24 single crochet. Round 19 is 3 single crochet, then an increase, and we repeat that 6 times to get 30 stitches. Round 20 is just 30 single crochet around. Round 21 is 4 single crochet, then increase, and we repeat that 6 times to get 36 stitches. The next 3 rounds, so rounds 22 to 24, are 36 single crochet around, and I will do this off camera. Now we are going to start decreasing. In round 25 it's 4 single crochet, then a decrease, and we do that 6 times to bring us down to 30 stitches. Round 26 is 3 single crochet, then a decrease, and we do that 6 times to get 24 stitches. Round 27 is 2 single crochet, then a decrease, and we repeat that 6 times to get 18 stitches. Round 28 is a single crochet, then a decrease, and we do that 6 times to get 12 stitches. At this point I'm going to stop crocheting the body because it's easier to crochet the trunk on when the body isn't stuffed. So I'm going to need 
about 2 feet or 60 centimeters of yarn to finish off the last round of the body. So I'm going to cut off about 2 feet. And I'm just going to tuck that tail into the body to use later. Now we are going to start on the trunk. To start the trunk, we use a standing single crochet. So you create a slip knot and put that on the hook. So these are the three chain stitches that we created earlier. And these are the seven single crochet that we skipped. And then we will also be going into these side stitches over there. To start, we're going to go into that rightmost chain stitch and pull up one loop and then pull through both loops on the hook. And that is our standing single crochet. I like to put a stitch marker in here so I can see where it is. Then we are going to continue doing single crochets around. So the second single crochet will be in that second chain stitch and then the third chain stitch. I am also crocheting over the tail. And now I can just tuck the tail in. Now I'm going to do a single crochet into that side stitch. Then I'm going to do single crochets into each of the seven skipped single crochets from earlier. After those seven single crochet, the last single crochet of the round will go into that side stitch. And that will bring us to 12 single crochet in round 1. The first stitch of round 2 will go into that marked standing single crochet. It can be a bit tricky getting into that stitch because it can be quite tight. So you might just need to wiggle the hook a little bit to get it in there. Then I'm just going to move the stitch marker to the previous stitch, which was the last single crochet of round one. I have already created the first single crochet of round two. So now I'm just going to do another 11 single crochet around. In round three, we are doing two decreases and then eight single crochet. And that will bring you to 10 stitches in round three. Round 4 is a decrease and then 8 single crochet, which brings you down to 9 stitches. Round 5, we do a decrease and then 7 single crochet to bring you down to 8 stitches.
Round six is a decrease and then six single crochet. And that brings you down to seven stitches. It can start getting fiddly here because it's quite small, so it just works slowly. Round seven is a decrease and then five single crochet to bring you down to six stitches. Round eight is a decrease followed by four single crochet to bring you down to five stitches. And then the last two rounds, so rounds nine and 10, are just five single crochet around. Then we can remove the stitch marker and cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail for sewing that hole closed. To sew the hole closed, I like to go in the front loops of each of the five stitches we created in the last round from the middle. So that's the first stitch second, third, fourth and fifth stitches and then just pull it tight and that will close off the hole. Then insert the needle in the center of the trunk and just bring it through to somewhere else on the trunk. And then just insert it in the next stitch and bring it through to a few places on the trunk and the head just to secure that tail. Now we can cut the yarn and we can stuff the body. Just make sure to pull that long tail out before stuffing. When stuffing the body, make sure to get the stuffing quite firm in the neck because that will stop the head from wobbling. After the body is stuffed, we can now crochet the last round. So to finish off the body, it's just six decreases which brings us down from 12 stitches to six. Then we can just pull that yarn tail through to sew the hole closed. We are going to sew the hole closed in exactly the same way as before by going through each of the front loops of the stitches of the last round. Then we can pull it tight to close the hole and insert the needle in the center and just bring that tail through to a few places on the body to secure it. And that is the head, trunk and body of the elephant completed. Thank you so much for watching part one of this tutorial. The link to part two will be in the description box.